Good evening. I'll call to order the Town of uh, Cape Elizabeth Zoning Board of Appeals meeting for Tuesday, October 22nd. Uh, first on our agenda is to approve the minutes from July 23rd, from the July 23rd and August 27th, uh, 2019 uh, meetings. We we'll then start with uh, approval of the minutes from the July 23rd meeting. We have a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. So moved. Very good. Uh, second. Very good. There's our second. Any conversation about the July 23rd meetings meeting minutes? I, I was not at that meeting, so I'm I'm not going to vote on these. Uh, neither was I, so I will also not vote on them. Okay. And my understanding is we. I did get a report from one of the other board members who is comfortable with meeting minutes, but do we, where, where are we at then? I, I guess we still don't have it, because we, we, we don't have Matt. Okay, okay, so we will, we will uh, then, without objection, uh, table the approval of the July 23rd meeting minutes, uh, since we do not have the, the requisite members to approve those, and move on to the August 27th meeting minutes. Mr. Chair, I move to approve the draft minutes of August 27, 2019 Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Thank you. Do we have a second? I'll second that. All right. Any discussion on the August 27 <coughs> minutes? Hearing none, all in favor of approval? I was not. Okay. Four, so I, think we have our, I think we have our four. And one abstention. Okay. Wait, Joe, were you here for, the, here for the July meeting? For the July meeting, I was, but not for August. All right, then I think we do, we do have four for that, because Colin, yes. you were here. Okay. Yeah. If you're counting Kevin. If we're counting Kevin. Yeah. I, think yes. we, I think we do right. have four right. without right. Matt. If you want to go back to that, it's up to you. Right, and we did get a sent from, uh, from uh, Kevin Just, who was also here as well, that he, uh, he had approved of the, of the uh, meeting minutes as well. So. I believe the motion carries. Um, you want to, you want to, the motion for the 20, July, the August 27th? This is August 27th, okay. yes, yes. Yeah. And, and July 23rd will be tabled until the next meeting for okay. approval. But I, I think we could go back to July because I didn't really, I had forgotten that Joe was here okay. for that meeting. Right. right. So it'd be, let's circle right you, back. Circle back, you, Joe, Colin, and, with Kevin, and Kevin. Kevin. Excellent. If Excellent. you want to circle back to that. Okay. And so there was indeed a pending motion to approve, which I somehow unilaterally tabled this chair. <laughs> uh, and I believe we even had a second. So <laughs> if there's if there's no further discussion, um, then I, I, I suggest we go ahead and vote all in favor of approving the, the minutes from July 23rd. All uh right. -huh. Okay. And with Kevin's assent, um, Kevin Justice uh, assent, which he had expressed earlier. Uh, we've got our minutes approved. Good. Clean up the agenda there. Yeah. Um, moving on, uh, there is no old business, and our new business is to hear the request of uh, Carol Morissette, representing the owners of the property at 9 Smugglers Cove Road, Matthew 10, Lot 47, to expand a non conforming single family dwelling based on section 19 4 3 D4 of the zoning ordinance. Um, I turn briefly to our code enforcement officer, uh, Ben McDougall, uh, to offer us a, a brief overview, overview of the application. Sure. Uh, Nine Smugglers Cove Road is a non-conforming lot in the RA zone. The house is a, it's a single family dwelling. It's also non-conforming to the current setbacks. The garage is currently 12.1 feet from the side and uh, the main portion of the house is 20.9 feet from the side. Carol Morissette came to me with a proposal to remodel and expand this house and a portion of the expansion is in the area of the house that's not conforming to the side setback. Uh, thus it triggers the zoning board procedure. Any questions for Ben at this very moment? Obviously, we'll have an opportunity to ask some additional questions. We would then turn it over to uh, Ms. Morissette on the application. Thank you. Thank you. 
So I'm here with Adam Kreutz of Residential Design Studio on behalf of um, Mark and Jonna Coggin, uh, the owners of Nine Smugglers Cove Road. Uh, we really wanted to take advantage of the volume that we are by right allowed to um, expand into above the garage. Uh, but in order to access that part of the house that is within the setback, in fact 91 square feet of it that is within the side setback, um, would need to be increased in volume which is triggering this whole process. Um, Mark and Jana have spoken to the neighbors, um, their direct abutters, and as well as Lynn Balitz and Kathy Crossen, and I apologize for not pronouncing their names correctly, um, at one Smuggler's Cove Road, and um, the residents of 1, 7, 8, 13, and 14 have all expressed their support for this project, um, specifically because it is as diminutive as possible within the setback. Um, like I said, it's only 91 square feet within the setback that we are proposing to increase the volume of. I think this is fairly straightforward, so I will keep it short and sweet with that, unless you have any questions. Thank you. Any, any questions for the applicant? from Ms. Morissette, and we, of course, we'll preserve the right to probably back up if we don't have questions, but did, did you have something here? Yeah, so I just wanted some clarification on the, the renderings. Sure. Um, this is on uh, the satellite view and the existing proposed. Um, number seven there, is that just a house next door that's just obscured by trees? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what that is. Okay. Um, and in fact, Adam went out again this morning to see if the storm had removed some of those leaves so that you would have a better view of that house, and you don't. Okay. The leaves remain. Okay. And so, um, in this, uh, in this, are we looking from the ocean side up towards Shore Road? Uh, yes. There is a little red arrow on the. Uh, okay. I see on the lower left there. On the okay. key. Yes, on the lower left hand side. That's where you're looking. Okay. Um, and I think really the satellite image to the right of that on that same sheet, A0.5, really kind of shows that this small increase in volume really doesn't have an effect on anyone's view because all of the views of the water are either obstructed by trees, they're more of the views of the neighbors are down the street looking toward the water, or they simply don't have a water view. Okay, so um, this uh, number seven here, when, like, if you're going, if you're proposing to put on, to build on top of the current garage, that's not going to, that won't impact number seven's no, views? Number seven is, um, Adam, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's a single story building there, and those windows are already looking at the back of the garage okay. as it stands down. Okay. Additional questions for the applicant at the moment? And um, Ben, did you receive any comments from any members of the public, any emails or anything like that? I received a couple phone calls inquiring about the application, but just general inquiries, no opinions expressed. Okay. And I would open the floor up to, I will open the floor up to pub public comment, but since uh, there is no public here to comment, uh, it doesn't look like we'll get any additional commentary. Um, and I think we can then go ahead and, and close uh, the floor to comment and move forward with our considerations as the board. Um, thoughts on the application? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, yeah, it seems the, it seems the criteria for practical extent are pretty clearly stated, and I don't see any uh, any problem with any. I think that's further demonstrated by um, the design not building on the second floor above that last garage bay. And that would preserve any even I think even future views from number seven if they build up. Yeah, I would agree. I, I, I think this is pretty straightforward. Um, 
Yeah, I think the view, the, the potential uh, complication would be with the impact on views of abutters, but uh, it looks like they've done a really nice job of not only addressing it by uh, by limiting the ex the extent of of the the expansion up, um, but they've also studied it and actually presented some clear data. So mm -hmm. I, I'm in support of this. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of head shaking in the affirmative, and I guess that I, I would say, um, Ms. Morris, that the application is very complete and the drawings are very helpful. It's always nice to be able to see exactly. Yes, it is. What uh, what this is going to look like on the on the face of the earth. Um, I would entertain a motion then to approve the request of Carol Morissette, representing the owners of the property at Nine Smugglers Cove Road, Map U10, Lot 47, to expand a single family dwelling based on Section 1943B4 of the Zoning Ordinance. So moved. Do we have a second? A second. Okay. Uh, discussion on the motion. I think we may have just had it, but yeah. Are there any additional comments? Hearing none, all in favor? The application carries unanimously. Thank you. We'll run through the findings of fact briefly. Um, proposed finding of fact one, the property is a non-conforming lot in the RA zone. There is an existing single family dwelling on the property that is also non-conforming. Uh, proposed additional finding of fact one, the Zoning Board of Appeals has considered the size of the lot, the slope of the land, the potential for soil erosion, the location of other structures on the property and on adjacent properties, the location of the septic system and other on-site soils suitable for septic systems, the impact on views and the type and amount of vegetation to be removed to accomplish the relocation. Proposed additional finding of fact two, the proposed structure will not increase the nonconformity of the existing structure. Proposed additional finding of fact three, the proposed structure is in compliance with the setback requirement to the greatest practical extent. And proposed additional finding of fact four, the applicant has demonstrated compliance with the requirements uh, in uh, Cape Elizabeth Zoning Ordinance Section 1043B4. In section, okay. Sorry. So let's let's propose additional finding of fact four is the applicant just for sake of clarity, the applicant has demonstrated compliance with the requirements in section 19-4-3 before. Entertain a motion to approve the uh, proposed findings of fact. So moved. There we go. A second. A second. Very good. Um, discussions about the proposed findings? All right. Hearing none, all in favor? The proposed findings uh, unanimously carry. Thank you for the application. Thank you for coming here tonight and taking the time. And uh, that's it for our agenda. We'll, we'll adjourn. Thank you. Thank you.